Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Cooking with Alisa. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you are a return subscriber, thank you for your love and support. Today, I will be making bok nam ban chok, which means smashing rice noodle. This dish is similar to papaya salad. Instead of papaya, we are using rice noodle. It goes well with beef sticks and fried chicken, which I'm making today. This was requested by Chan Ta Mao. She posted a picture on Facebook and asked if I could do a video on it. So, if you want to learn how to make it, please continue watching. Thank you. We are going uh, to start with our chicken ingredients. You will need four pounds of chicken wings, uh, salt, sugar, chicken powder, garlic powder, black pepper, and tempura batter. And the one that I'm using is the Dragonfly brand because it already had the garlic and pepper already. Then for your sauce, you need shrimp paste, tamarind paste, fish sauce, and palm sugar. And other ingredients, you need shrimp, cuttlefish or squid, uh, cherry tomatoes, uh, chilies, garlic, um, two package of uh, rice noodle. This is the one I'm using. And last, lemon or lime. I'm using three lemon today. First, we're going to start by making our sauce. In a saucepan, add two cups of water and turn your meat to medium high. Add in the shrimp paste. the tamarind fish sauce and palm sugar if you don't have the kind that I'm having right now you can also use the circle one that they have in the store or regular sugar it's um, fine too and we are going to mix this well and bring this to a boil and let it cook for five minutes and then we set that aside to let it cool down and when it cool down the sauce will become a little bit more thicker this is how i make my papaya sauce and you can store this in the jar for about two or three months in the refrigerator and next we are going to prepare our cuttlefish and shrimps uh, try to buy the one that's already clean and ready to be used already because it's easier and faster uh, to work with. Cut the cuttlefish by separating the testicle first and then the body into half. Uh, you may use squid as well. I didn't because it costs $18.99 for a box and I don't need that much. And the cuttlefish only costs $4.99 and it comes in small packages. The same with the shrimps. Uh, try to find the one that's already pale and devein. It's just much easier and quicker to work with. All you have to do is let it thaw, rinse it, and cut it in half. After you cut all your shrimp, just put it back in a bowl and let it sit aside. Okay, next we are going to prepare the chicken wings. I'm separating the tip of the wings, the middle, and the top. By doing this, it's easier to work with allow the chicken to cook faster and it's easy to eat. You can also buy the party wings, but it's more expensive. I normally buy them if I'm throwing a party, which today I'm not. Before we marinate the chicken, make sure there's no liquid left in the bowl. Too much liquid require more tempura and we only want to lightly coat the chicken with the flour. Now we are ready to marinate the chicken. Start with the salt sugar, chicken powder, garlic powder, and black pepper. I'm going to use my hand and give this a good mix. Okay, once you marinate it good, then we're gonna put in our tempura. Mix it. Next, we are going to prepare and cut the cherry tomatoes into four sections. This will make it easier when it's time to smash in the noodle. The same with the lemon. 
we are going to cut into smaller sections and remove any seed. Okay, then next we're going to cook our shrimps and cuttlefish. We don't want to cook this for a long time. When the water comes to a boil, we're just going to let it cook for about 30 seconds. Uh, we don't want it to overcook it. I st we still want that nice, fresh uh, taste of the shrimp and the cuttlefish. And then uh, remove it from the stove and then cling it under cold water so it will stop the cooking process. Okay, next we're going to cook our rice noodle. Before we put in the noodle, we're going to add one tablespoon of salt first. This will make the noodle become more, and Khmer we call it sweat, so I'm not sure what's the English terminology, but probably chewy, I'm not sure. If you know, let me know. And then you're going to cook this until the noodle becomes soft. And if you can't tell, you can look at the instruction on the back of the packages. Once your noodles cook, remove from the stove and you're going to pour into a basket like here and then you're going to rinse and clean with cold water and I normally clean until my noodle is not hot anymore and then I will show you how to fold the noodle. Uh, you don't have to fold the noodle but I think it's easier because it allows you to um, separate the small portions and it's easier to smash as well too. There's probably many ways how to fold noodles, but I'm going to show you how I do it. With your left hand, you're going to grab a little of the noodle. Use your right hand to smooth it down, stroke it down so it'll be nice and smooth, and wrap it around your index finger and then squeeze the water out. Okay, you don't want your noodle to be soggy. And then repeat the process until all your noodles are gone. If you're an expert on folding noodles and you have a better techniques, uh, please uh, do share with us. We would truly appreciate it. Um, this was how I was learned. Uh, my mom tried to teach me her way. I couldn't figure it out. So I just, you know what, screw this. I'm doing it my way. Okay, so now I'm pouring the papaya sauce into my container and if you guys uh, been wanting this recipe and have asked me to do a video on it. So this is it um, This is how I make mine. It's easy and simple. You can add prahok sauce or crab paste Which will allow the sauce to be more uh, darker color like black color um, And try to store this in a jar if you have it. I don't have it So plastic container will work too. Just make sure it's airtight and then you want to put this in the refrigerator And it lasts you about a couple months or so on medium high heat, we are going to fry our chicken. And when we fry the chicken, you want to make sure uh, there's room for the chicken. And it will make your chicken more crispier. When you fry your chicken, you want to make sure there's space for them to float around because it will make your chicken more crispier. And this is for my viewers who have asked me to do a video on fried chicken. So this is your chance to learn how to make it. This is how I normally make mine. I normally use the the tempura that already had the garlic and the pepper ready. Um, I'm pretty sure any brand will work as good as long you will see the one that say garlic and pepper. So you're gonna cook the chicken um, until it turns crispy. I timed it for you guys. It was about 20 minutes. Okay, on medium high heat. Okay, here's me in action making the smashing noodle. Okay, you always want to start with the chili and garlic first and then followed by the shrimp paste and then the sugar. Sugar. Okay, when you add the fish sauce and the tomato, uh, do not smash it. It will splash in our face Tomato. and it will go into your eyes and that will be uh, painful. So just kind of stir it, uh, you know, to all, for all the ingredients to uh, combine together and mix well. And then you want to pound it just a little bit so the tomato will break and then the sauce will get into the tomato and it give you a nice flavor. Between the shrimp and the cuttlefish, I actually like the cuttlefish better. Um, 
For some reason, the taste was more fresh, and maybe my shrimp was a little bit too cooked. But yeah, I think the cuttlefish was much better. And here is my delicious sauce. I feel pretty good about this sauce. It tastes very delicious. And if you know anybody who want to learn how to make the sauce, this is a good video to share with them. You know, you have basically three things. You know how to make the sauce, you know how to cook the fried chicken, and now you know how to smash the, the, the noodle. So thank you Chanta Mao for this request. I think this is a very useful video for a lot of people. Um, it's a lot of work, but I think it's worth the while because this is actually the normal process of making a good, delicious uh, dish. And normally Khmer cooking, it does take a long time, but you know, long time, the food is amazing. This is my little presentation. It's close enough to the picture that Shanta uh, shared on Facebook. And if you want your noodle to become a little bit darker, you know, add the crab paste to it. That will make it darker. And also, I wanted to let you know, I put my noodle in the right. glass container uh, so the sauce doesn't uh, get into the vegetable. Spicy, sour, mm. stinky, oh, so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yes, it is stinky. What did I say about stinky food? It's stinking good. So that is it okay. on our video today on how to make nom banchok. If you like more of this kind of video, please click like, uh, share with a friend. If you know anybody who wants to learn how to make this. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do so. So you'll get a notification on my new upcoming videos. Until then, uh, thank you for watching. Take care and bye bye. That's it guys, that's a wrap.